bugging you are pest pest unwanted guests bring your pest problems to a halt Hi, how are you? My name is Rob, Halt Pest Control. Uh, it's going to be summer, it's going to be extremely hot, and with that heat comes uh, some bothersome insects that are potentially harmful to um, us as homeowners and people around, and that would be bees and wasps. Uh, there are four common species of bees and wasps in the Pacific Northwest or around here that we deal with. Uh, Two of them are uh, not really a problem. The two of them can be a very bad problem. The first one, are, of course, is a honeybee. Honeybees are wonderful creatures. We all love honeybees. Uh, when you're out and about in the garden, uh, just leave them alone. They're not going to do anything to you. Uh, they may fly around a little bit, but we really need honeybees. Of course, everybody knows that. Uh, there's no reason to, um, to um, spray them. Uh, if you do see a hive in your house under an eave, of honeybees themselves going in and out of the house uh, call us or sometimes we can uh, make arrangements with a beekeeper uh, to come and take care of those um, honeybees. Uh, the other t thing you'll see in early spring are swarms of honeybees uh, and when that happens they'll, they'll rest or you'll see masses of them in a tree or in a bush something like that. Leave them alone. They're not going to do anything. They're just looking for a place to live. They'll go elsewhere. The next morning when you wake up they'll, they'll be gone. Don't disturb them. Uh, they need to be in the environment, uh, and they're actually wonderful creatures. Uh, the second uh, stinging insect that um, we um, that we deal with are um, wasps or pulsties. Wasps are paper wasps, and they're the the insects or the long, sort of elongated uh, yellow. Um, insects that you see hanging from underneath your eaves uh, and sort of an inverted umbrella um, or up in, at the uh, middle of your peak. Those, believe it or not, are mostly a cosmetic um, insect. Uh, wasps or paper wasps are not aggressive. It's only incidental that you'll be stung by one. Uh, if you put your hand on it or somehow disturb it directly, you may get stung, but they are not aggressively going to attack you. Now, it's really hard for us uh, to convince people of that fact, and we really prefer not to treat those nests. Uh, sometimes they create a cosmetic issue with the homeowner. I, I actually don't um, bother, I, I don't like bothering because they're really beneficial to your garden. They eat a lot, a lot of insects uh, that, w um, that are detrimental to your garden. So they're kind of nice to have around, believe it or not. I know I can't convince you of that. Uh, it may be a problem if they're right close to a doorway or somewhere like that. But in general, a, a small wasp nest or a little post paper nest underneath the eave, leave it alone. It's, it's a great thing to have around, believe it or not. Anyway, my name is Rob McMaster, Halt Pest Control, uh, www.haltpestcontrol.com. Thank you. Our bugs have bugging you, our pest has unwanted guests. Bring your pest problems to a halt, Halt Pest Control.